Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can use Lucid Chart. In this video I will show you the basic walkthrough and how we can like use it. I won't really go into advanced things like these, let me show you. Like uh, how to use UI containers, UI widgets, UI input. With this video you will know all the basic things. Let's just start. When you're gonna enter Lucid Chart and you're gonna click here on the left top new, you have option to choose Lucid Chart document lucid spark board and start with the template we are going to start with the template but before we start we need to uh, i need to explain to you what is the difference between lucid spark and lucid chart and the difference is this lucid spark is a virtual whiteboard application for free form ideation group brainstorming and real-time collaboration across teams lucid chart is an intelligent diagramming application for understanding the people processes and systems that drive business forward so lucid spark is as you can see uh, is really great for collaborating with others lucid chart document is when you want to connect it with i don't know google sheets and you want to have like plenty of numbers and presentations there uh, it can be really useful so use board lucid spark board for a brainstorming and use lucid chart document if you want to create really good processes now let's click start with the template when you're gonna start with the template you're gonna see on the left side plenty of categories so you can choose work remotely build flow charts you can have like plenty of flow charts here what you can also do is to simply click on lucid spark and you see that you can brainstorm with others here and you can even see that those in lucid spark are much simpler comparing to the lucid chart so that's what you can do and now let's say i'm going to build a flow chart in lucid chart and i'm going to choose this one here or i don't know that that seems a little bit more complex so flow chart open template and now here we are so what I can do and how I can play around with things. Uh, when you're gonna use your click on the mouse wheel, you can zoom and we can move around the board. Then on the bottom right, when you would go, you can simply zoom in and zoom out. So that's something you can do. Just zoom in, zoom out. So this is also the map when you would click on it. So this is how you can move on your dashboard. And now you can zoom to content, zoom to width, zoom to page. You can switch between these two. Now let's go zoom on, zoom in here. And what I can do. So when you come here to the shapes, uh, you can have like your text here and text options. This looks really like an Excel. You can have like shape options here color and everything and this will be always different based on what we're gonna like choose right so when i'm going to click on uh, this button here on the like on the start as you can see the color changed if i'm going to click on arrow i can edit the arrow here like change the size of it see pretty straightforward pretty easy i can even change it to something else not to arrow but to like this thing here and then i will just make it smaller now let's add a text what i'm going to do i'll just simply take the text from standard and just paste it here i can come and this is text here i have a text pretty straightforward pretty easy i can change a font here i can increase the size of the font I can underline it if I want to. So there are plenty of things what you can actually do. Then I have like a block here. And now I can simply change it. And edit it as much as I want. So this is pretty straightforward. I can change the colors here. When you come here to the field color, you can see the shape options here. You can have like the shape opacity here that you can change. So let me show you. This is my color for. I can change the opacity. I can change the width, the height, rotation, position. Pretty straightforward, right? I can change the line color. And as you can see, the line color around the orange 
is uh, black. I can have an icon set. If I'm going to like icon there. And then I have like condition formatting, but this is what I would teach you in advanced tutorial. If you want to, I can uh, create a rule. So when something happened, this will change something like that, right? Now, then we're going to see the sticky notes here. And really same, I can just change the text. Then this is my sticky note. And as you can see, there is like some kind of shadow behind it. Then I got a like hotspot. Hotspot is going to link to something. So when someone is going to click on a hotspot, it will get him somewhere. So that's something you can do and that's how it works. And what I could do is to simply choose an arrow right here. And I can connect it to this thing. It's connected and I can connect it to anywhere I want to this one to this thing. So I can connect it right here. And then, as I mentioned, you can get, can get to the top and change the style of it. You can change the size of it. And I can change also if it's going, what kind of type it's going to be. You see. And then uh, I can change like the back of my arrow of my connector. And then end of my connector. And there are plenty of options to which you can choose. And that's something you can do. And then you can also lock it. And if you're going to lock it, you won't be able to uh, like edit it, etc. Now, when we go further, you can have like flowchart here. Flowchart is pretty straightforward. And that's like working with the databases. And you see like this is a process. This would be a terminator. And we have a connector here. So what I could do is to simply come here and choose an arrow. Sorry. Opa. Now this is not what I wanted. So let me show you again. Okay, like this. Like this, here we go. So here I have it. And then I will just choose different one. Like this. And now I can change the colors of it. And this is pretty much it, how you use it. What you can do is to also, oh, this is a little bit big. Hold, you can hold uh, control and just like zoom in, zoom out if you want to. And you can use that. And you're gonna like plenty of shapes here. And if you would go here to the shapes, you see plenty of things that you can actually implement with the floor plants and relationship so this is pretty much how it works then you would go to the databases and if you have, if you want to i can teach you that in advanced tutorial what you can do also is go to top right and you can simply share it or you can present it or you can share it with someone else and you can invite collaborators or get a shareable link that's completely up to you and then you can have like file here and you can simply save it or export it and you can export it as PNG, PDF, JPEG, SFG. And voila, here I get like PDF here. I can simply download it. And that's pretty much it how we do it. So this is was like the introduction on how you can use Lucid Chart. Let me down below in the comments if you would like to have a new tutorial on advanced, how you can use everything with Lucid Chart from our databases, how we can use it with conditional formatting, how we can use it also with like linked data, everything, I can teach you that.
So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.